Now, I say in faith without works is dead. I didn't, but the Bible does. Okay? So don't stand there passive when you've said the prayer, waiting for something to happen. Do one very simple thing. Begin to breathe out. Expel. And you find if you have a problem, in a short while, it will be more than mere human breath that's coming up. That's you, what you're on. Now, when that happens, you might become undignified. You might not act in a very religious way. If you decide to be dignified and religious, you lose what you pray for. It's your option. I suggest you turn loose and get it out. I've told the people the devil is no gentleman. He comes in uninvited, and he usually has to be kicked up. Kick him up with everything you've got. Don't spare him. Hate him. Listen, it's no sin to hate the devil. It's a sin not to hate the devil. To be passive and indifferent is sinful. Okay, those of you that want to say this prayer, would you stand to your feet okay, right you now? We don't have quiet. more than about three minutes. All right, now we are praying to Jesus, the Deliverer, not to Brother Prince. And I would like you to say these words. They're all taken out of the Bible and what I have taught. Okay? Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you are the Son of God. And the only way to God. And the only way to God. That you died on the cross for my sins. That you died on the cross for my sins. And rose again from the dead. And rose again from the dead. I come to you now come to you now for mercy, for mercy and for forgiveness. I believe you do forgive me and receive me as your child. And because you receive me, I receive myself as a child of God. And now, Lord, you know the special problem that I have. And Lord, you know the special problem that I have. The demonic influences the that torment me. Demonic influences that torment me. Lord, I want to meet your conditions. Lord, I want to meet your conditions. And receive your deliverance. And receive your deliverance. First of all, I forgive every other person. First of all, I forgive every other person. Whoever harmed me or wronged me. Whoever harmed me or wronged me. I forgive them all now. I forgive them all now. Now pause for a moment and quietly name the persons you need to forgive. To my yourself. dad, my mom, my wife, my, my children, um, the doctors. Uh, We're going on. Lord, I have forgiven all these laws, persons. Everybody. I have Lord, laid I down all bitterness. I have laid down all bitterness. All resentment. All resentment. All hatred. All hatred. And all rebellion. All rebellion. And, and I believe you've forgiven me. I believe you've forgiven me. I thank me. you for it. And thank you for I also me. renounce. I also renounce every contact. Every contact with Satan. With Satan. With occult power. With occult power. With secret society. With secret society. With anything in Satan's territory. With anything in Satan's territory. I repent of being on that territory. I repent of being on that and territory. And I turn my back on it now. And I turn my back on it now. Also, Lord, if there's a curse over my life. Also, Lord, there's a curse over my life. I thank you. I thank you. That on the cross. That on the cross. You were made a curse. That you were made a curse. That I might be redeemed from the curse. That you were made a curse. I might be redeemed and from the curse. And receive the blessing. And receive the blessing. And I claim that now. And I claim that now. Release from the curse. Release from the curse. And entering into the blessing. And entering into the blessing. And now, Lord, I want to come against. And now, Lord, I want to come against. Any evil spirit in me. Any evil spirit in me. That occupies any area of my personality. That occupies any area of my personality. I want to tell you. I hate I them. Tell you, I hate them. They are my enemies. They are my enemies. I will not make peace with them. I will not make peace with them. I will not compromise with them. I will not compromise with them. They will have no more place in me. They will have no more place in me. I turn against them now. I turn against them now. And in the authority of your name, Jesus. And in the authority of the name of Jesus. I command them to leave me. I command them to leave me. I expel them right now. I expel them right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right, no more praying. I'll do the final prayer, you do the letting go. Begin to expel right now in faith. 
Now, Lord, as your servant and representative here this morning, under the authority of the local leadership, I take dominion in Jesus' name over every evil spirit that has been renounced, and I command them to go now. In Jesus' name, release these people and go from them now in the mighty, all-prevailing name of Jesus Christ. I affirm that Jesus Christ is Lord over this gathering, that he has defeated Satan, that he holds the keys of death and of Hades, that all authority has been given unto him in heaven and in earth. Satan, you are subject to us through the name of Jesus. You have to obey us. You have to go from these people. You have no options. The Bible says you must leave. And leave you must, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now just get a full deliverance. Release yourself from everything. Once the anointing is here, you can get rid of everything. And it's much more difficult to do it when the anointing lifts. So don't bother about other people. Don't hold on to your dignity. It'll come back in a few moments. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Raise your holy name. Raise your name. Raise your name. This is the first of four successive talks on the theme of the enemies we face. I trust that all of us who are committed to Jesus here this evening do realize that we face enemies because it's a very dangerous situation to have powerful and active enemies working against you and not even be aware that you have those enemies. The enemies that we face are not persons of flesh and blood, but they are invisible spirit beings. The themes that we're going to deal with in these talks concern things which are not discerned by human senses. The Bible speaks about things which eye has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man. Things that are invisible and spiritual. The things we're going to talk about can only be understood through the scripture. There is no other source of reliable information. A lot of people imagine, I think, that the things we see, touch, hear, taste are the truly real things. Actually, I recorded that because I felt the Holy Spirit tell me to record it. The Bible says, ask and you shall receive. We and I'll do that again. And I'll keep doing that. And I'll keep asking for deliverance throughout my walk with God. Because I make mistakes and I allow them to come in. A brother in Christ told me that he does that all the time. Um, I was watching uh, these two ser sermon teachings from Derek Prince, and I knew what the Lord wanted me to do right about the middle. I took my children in here too, and we did a, a, a prayer for the children to be set free. One of them was definitely being set free. I know Derek Prince was talking about children um, being um, the parents doing certain things and the, and, and the demons coming on their kids. <coughs> that was a powerful prayer. I started feeling stuff come out way before it was over with. And 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 I'll do it again. 
I love every single buddy. Um, I might have announced a few things that you might think, oh man, you were mad at me. You know what? We all, we all, we get mad at people we love. And those are the ones that really affect us. Um, um, yesterday I was upset at somebody who was talking bad as I was, as I was out feeding the homeless. So, you know, I got to repent of him too. Um, uh, and I believe that showing you what happens is, is something that God wants us to know. And this is going to go to my YouTube family out there. The, you know, I, I, you know, there's 51 or 52 uh, subscribers, and and you guys all got to know. You know, um, self deliverance is a, is a a true real thing. I, I do this all the time. Uh, I try and do it every day because I'm out there um, destroying the devil's work. And the thing is, is if you think you don't have something in you, then that's, that's what the devil wants. He's a liar. Um, men of God, pastors, um, evangelists, uh, they, they have to clean themselves out. Um, and so why wouldn't just a believer have to do that? You know, someone who's really not following Christ like they're supposed to. We're supposed to deliver people. Um, Derek Prince said something that, that I've heard meant by Pastor Lester Summerall. I mean, I've, I've watched every single um, pastor. Um, some of them I don't believe, but definitely Lester Summerall and uh, Derek Prince. Uh, um, I'm just starting to watch this stuff, and um, it goes along with uh, Pastor Lester Summerall and Smith Wigglesworth, what they talked about. Um, but Lester Summerall, I mean, Pastor Derek Prince said something that was really good. He said um, that there should not be evangelists. You don't evangelize. I can't remember what he said. You don't evangelize without addressing the demons first. Because how can you teach people about God if they got demons that are telling them that you're lying? Um, I've actually ministered to somebody over the phone and I could hear the Lord say that he's got demons talking to him while you talk to him. So I asked him, I said, do you have someone talking to you while I'm talking to you? He said, yeah. And then he said, um, I go, what are they saying? He said that they're saying you're, you're talking crap. That's what he said. He says, don't listen to him you're talking crap. So... And I was just letting the Holy Spirit lead me and tell him that you know what he has to do to get delivered. So, anyways, um, I just uh, I love you and God bless you, and uh, have a wonderful day. Jesus loves you. I love you. And don't think this is something you should do one time. You should constantly do this. If you're out, which you should be out, casting out devils, raising the dead, heal the sick cleansing the lepers, preaching the gospel, you know, getting in your word. I love you and God bless you.